Gather around, island lovers. It's Demi and Jasmine with your fire pit chat. Your daily dose of all things Love Island. I cannot stop raving about drowsy eye masks. I have been a sleep mask connoisseur for as long as I can remember. Are you okay? <laughs> Jasmine broke. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me. I'm talking about my eye mask. Ja- Jasmine <laughs> broke. <laughs> Um, as you know, I love eye masks and I've never met a more luxe eye mask than drowsy. Drowsy eye masks block 100% of sleep interrupting light, slip into a drowsy sleep cocoon and pill your eyes with the purest padded silk, perfect for protecting your skin and hair. Unlike your average sleep mask, drowsy's double lining and fluffy cloud padding blocks even the tiniest ray of light. This way you wake up feeling refreshed. Get some shut eye with drowsy eye masks. Go to us.drowsysleepco.com slash firepitchat and use promo code firepitchat for 15% off your perfect sleep. Um, I'm obsessed with drowsy eye masks. I have a puppy right now. It's nothing as compared to, you know, the human child Demi's rating, but man, does he cry. Oh, that's heartbreaking when you had to put them in the crate. And he like wakes up. Today it was um, 545. In the morning. You should text me. I'm, a, I'm awake like, then. I almost did. I was like, should I just start reading our book? Um, and um, honestly, one Clark got up with the dog today, which was so nice. So I put my drowsy sleep mask back on, put a pillow over my head. I was Shut out up. like a light. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, what... A puppy is nothing as compared to a human child, but it is something that wakes you up. And I will say the drowsy eye masks. I got to get on that. Get I right really got to get on that. But I just I just can't be like bothered with anything on me. Like, like man mask. You don't like, you don't like to be constricted. No, I have confinement anxiety. Also, I feel like you don't like anything like on your face. I don't like anything. No, like I don't like jewelry. Like I'm, I'm nothing. Right. Nothing. Like, you don't sleep with rings on or anything. You know, I did used to, and then my fingers swell. I know. This Florida heat, man, it is hot. Oh, my God, dude. I'm, like, sweating right now. (laughs) Anyway, (laughs) back to the show. (laughs) Okay, so we're still in Casa Amor, episode 30. I feel like we gave a banging episode yesterday. I really don't. I need to go back and listen, but apparently we were, like, really funny. Really? I, love I know, that right? Happens. And what a shitty day I had yesterday. <laughs> I know. I honestly didn't think I was going to be bringing it. I was so yeah, tired. We, were, we didn't feel our best. No, but we didn't. But now, how do I feel about Casa more this year? Hmm. I don't know. It's like, it's like I'm not as hooked for some reason. Yeah. I don't know what it is either. It's like, did it lose its appeal? Because we just like know what to expect. Yeah. And I will say, I don't know if it's the Islanders' fault. Because last year, I can tell you what it is. is like they just watched way too many episodes of Lava Island. And no one wanted to look like a dick. Right. So nothing happened. But this year, it's almost just like so producer. Right. And like if, if US so, is banging, which I do need to start. Did you start it yet? I almost started it, but like I'm really. I know me too. Right There's now. no way I'm like. So it's, it's so yeah. difficult. Like I almost started it this morning, but I just yeah I read for sure. It There's we we have to get through multiple books first. Thank God. Uh, yeah. I know a lot of people want us to recap it, but like, this is a lot of work. Honestly, just to keep up with UK, it's really hard, like having to watch two hours of TV a day and recap it. And then we're getting reviews that (laughs) we need to write notes. And how dare I admit that I was on my phone? (laughs) Like we are in a lecture, like literally like, can I believe? That was insane. So how are we going to add another show while we're doing this show? It's like, Perhaps we can recap it after, but then no one wants to hear that. I know, and it's like we could do it once a week and make it easy for ourselves, but like that's not we we're not made for that. No, we're not because we still have to watch seven episodes a week, (laughs) seven hours of TV a week. (laughs) Uh, I say it like I I know, right? But (laughs) 
I'm like two hours of TV a day. Like I easily watch at least six hours. Of so TV. true, so true. I know, but I do want to watch that because I thought I, when they brought up that the guy, even though we're now recapping U.S. <laughs> But I'm just saying, like, they needed to do something different. And I don't really understand why the UK isn't doing anything different. Like, they're really staying to the scripted show or, like, the mm-hmm. outline. And mm-hmm. they're not swaying from it. They maybe brought in the wild card of Joey Essex. But, like, we still know the layout of the show. I want to be surprised right. because now we're in season 11. Like, we we can't be doing this forever. It's already getting old. And I feel like people really are stopping watching this. Like... Yeah, it's just, I think what this season is, is just like off-putting because we can literally see the producer's fingerprints on yeah. everything. It's just because they're doing the same thing over and over and over. And last year it failed miserably. So this year they're like, the producers are so concerned with it being a good show that it's just so ingenuine. Like Joey Essex is a plant. He is like a producer. It, he's a plant. He's a uh, industry plant. Yeah, like, he's literally a paid <laughs> actor. We're literally, like, that's not a twist. Like, we yeah. need twists. Or we need to change the twist we had. Like, I guess you yeah. US changed Casa that you could either stay right. or go. Now, that um, is some good shit. That's juicy. We need something like that. I like that the boys are moving kind of mad in Casa. Like, tomorrow night seems like we're getting a lot of different vibes happening in both yeah. Casa houses or Casa and the Villa House. So that's nice. However, like, you know what's missing? We're not, like, rooting for a couple Yeah, anymore. right. And it, it's too predictable almost. Yeah, like, I think when I was more naive to Love Island, which we all were, because now it's season 11. Like, okay, it's 11 summers yeah. of doing this. That's yeah. crazy. But when I first, like, when I watched season two, I was, like, I had one couple... And don't ask me their names. Like, can't remember it. They, they're they married with a child now, but I was obsessed with them. And it wasn't a perfect road, like, from day one, you know? But, like, I was obsessed with them. So I would, like, in Casa, I was so fixated on what each other were doing and if they were going to get back together. And this season, I'm just kind of, like, take it or leave it. Like, I want it. I want it to fuck shit up because I'm not rooting <laughs> yeah, that's for true. any that's true. couple. It honestly seems, like, no offense to any males but this seems like it's ran by males like you need a woman casting oh, yeah. director because a woman would not have chose those men like facts yeah. a guy chose those girls those are a- bombshell men <laughs> yes and that, those are bombshell girls that a guy chose <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> like, absolutely like the, absolutely i'm sorry where are the women on the show because if the women were running this show imagine the drama but just how come, like, the Casa boys are so much hotter than the... Casa girls. Then... Bite your damn tongue. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, my God. I know, and I can't get it to... And, like, people th- that are writing reviews, like, one of them can't get it together. This is me in everyday life. This is me, like... This has always been me, and this is always going to be me. So, like, if you don't like it, like, please stop writing reviews. <laughs> Continue to listen. Keep it to yourself. Continue to listen, but just... Sh- we don't want to know. Or just, like, give us a five-star review and then write the mean things. True, That's true. Fine. Right. That's fine. I need a balance. <laughs> Have you ever heard of balance? Um, but the the boys in the villa, I meant to say, are so much hotter than the bombshell Casa Yeah. Boys. Like, that's not how it should be. Like, we need the guys in the... The OG guys can be cute, but I need the Casa boys to be, like, 10 out of 10s, all of them across the board. There's not one mediocre looking bombshell girl i know Cossack it's girl, insane whatever. there's not that's one. why all the guys like they have like it's like the world is your oyster these girls it's pick of the litter like these people are like gorgeous and these guys like honestly the game like joey <laughs> makes me cringe not joey joel he makes me cringe so joel. much dude like I, I i physically cannot look at him and the fact that uh jesse had to kiss him in the game Oh, I felt Yeah, me too. And honestly, I kind of like that she, like, defended Joey. Um, yeah, because it's, like, Joey didn't, like, do anything to her. So why why does she need to, like, Yeah, him, yeah. You know? Like, Grace was, like, annoyed that she did that. It's Grace like, is okay. annoyed at everything. 
yeah. okay so back to the beginning of the episode sean is now naming another girl with sweets um <laughs> that's what's happening in the vi- in the villa on in casa blade is telling uma that will tells her what he wants to hear uh i don't know if i agreed with that i do agree that he has eyes elsewhere and i do like i, I think a lot of people thought that blade was being desperate and his like approach to things i didn't get that vibe like i like a a person that comes in and like says oh this is like how it is and what we're being perceived as um Mm -hmm. i'm really embarrassed for uma and mimi and nicole sleeping on the day beds like that is just embarrassing yeah like not one of your mans is sleeping not one dude like not honestly kieran should be sleeping outside he if should he's he off, should they said i love you should no like it's crazy that you say i love you but you're not boyfriend and girlfriend in out of this world how like how can you like do you no like then no then you don't then you no yeah I just can't, never no, in my life no, no but yeah you can't say i love you and then sleep in the bed with it with a bombshell hottie patati girl and be in love with nicole like do you honestly karen do you honestly think you're gonna have a sliver of yourself left like she is gonna rip you to shreds for that honestly like a lot of people were like how did nicole like pass mental health tests to be on this on this show like for real like her insecure it's It's so bad. bad that some of the other girls are like like girl don't deep this like you're being it's it's insane like i've never seen so much insecurity before um she got damaged which i feel for her but she shouldn't be on the show like or she shouldn't go for a kieran like he is not the guy for you to make you feel secure in your relationship going forward you already feel like this this is insane and it's only going to get worse. Like, they're quite literally secluded. They're in a vacuum yeah. right now. You know what I mean? And I know there's temptation and things like that. But if he can't even kiss someone in a game, like, the way she goes, the way she spirals, yeah. and, like, it's the worst thing in the world, you have no idea who these girls are, what they look like, what are their circumstances. Like, they very well just could have been sitting next to Who the to fuck her. is Emma? <laughs> like, I just can't, like... Every time they did, Lucy, who's the Girls. Lucy? Like, every time something happened, I'm like, you're not going to know any And you're, of like, names, embarrassing. Right? The like, Costa guys are, like, right there. Like, I, like, can't handle girls who, like, don't have, like, shame on how they act in public. You know what I mean? Exactly. Oh, and, like, that's such a good point. It's, like, they love each other, Nicole and Karen. They haven't even seen each other, like, order something at a restaurant. Like, you don't even know how much tip that person <laughs> leaves. Like, you don't even know if this person's mean to waiters. Like, you don't know how they wait in a line. Like, they're, you can't love someone that you've only seen them in one situation with the same exact amount of people. Like, I'm no. sorry, you can't. But she's like, he must really like this girl. Like, he must really like her just because he kissed her in the game. It's like, it's so. it was honestly psychotic. Agreed. It's really bad. It's really bad. And it's it like Blade was sitting there while she was just like venting and he's like, oh my God. Like uh, I don't know. I don't know what will happen with that. Like people do like Molly Mae and Tommy did say I love you on the show, I think, but did they do it after they got boyfriend girlfriend? I don't know. But also it's like there's like six weeks left. Like you guys said I love you in mm-hmm. week three. It's embarrassing. No, it's you're so immature. It's embarrassing. Exactly. <laughs> like she, she wasn't wrong about that. And Nicole, it's like Nicole. I, she is unwell. She is. Yeah, unwell. I think Thank she you. needs to get like pulled and like have like a mental health day and like let the producers. There should be an on-site therapist. Like really. No, she needs to like. They need to they need to take her away from this and like let her touch grass and just kind of like <laughs> get back to reality. So I feel for Uma though because do you think Will I could see Will being the type of person though to like have his fun and then like stick with Uma. A hundred percent. I could definitely see him going back to Uma. I think he has a genuine like okay, so Uma's not his normal type, but I think that speaks to how like connected they are right like if you can feel that like 
connection with someone who's not your typical type. Like I think you do have some kind of spark there. And I think it's like sexual connection as well yeah. as like a, a non-sexual connection because they're like always making out and stuff. And like Uma's gorgeous. Like how can you not? Like her and her blue, blue little one piece tonight. I was like, oh my yeah. God, she looks amazing. But I can see Will going back to her. I think that Uma is going to be blindsided because I think to Uma, she doesn't see that Will's head could really be turned. And I think that maybe that's what Blade was meaning. Like, she's not really seeing that he is. Like, yes. Agreed. Still open. Like, she's going off of how she feels with him because she's so slow, such a slow burner that because she took so long and now she feels this way, she thinks he's like that. But he has had eyes for every single other girl walking in. Maybe he hasn't pursued them. And maybe he hasn't, like, brought that to Uma's attention. Except for, like, she might choose me. The fuck? <laughs> that was wild. But then, like, we never saw a conversation with them regarding that. Like, right after that, I would have been like, so why did you choose True. I would have loved to see that. But, like, did Uma just never bring it up because she's just like, oh, he didn't mean it. Like, I don't know. You know what these I mean? These girls, like, close their eyes to these red flags. It's so crazy. And then the other thing is, Oh, I lost. Then that. we have, well, we have Io and uh, Jessica and Mimi. Mm -hmm. That's savage. He's honestly like, they're well suited. I like him. Everybody likes Jessica. him with Jessica. Jessica. Jessie? Let me guide you. Jessica. <laughs> I said it three <laughs> times to ramp you up. And you're like, Jessie. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> no, I gotta make sure I'm right. Jessica, yes. But the thing, everybody likes them better together. Like everyone's like, we haven't seen Io like this. Like Io's come alive. Io this, Io that. And I yeah. do agree with that. I just wish Io could like. Io says a lot of words, but he doesn't say yes. anything. That's why she's like, okay, what the fuck did it's you say? <laughs> And thank God she said that because usually they just like are like, mm, yeah, yeah. Like, thank God she said that because I was literally sitting there like <laughs> trying to decipher it. It was so crazy. He might as well. Be yeah, she Greek. I really like her. Like, I, I think she's real. I honestly like them together. I don't think I don't want Mimi to get her heart broken, but I wish that I wish these three girls sitting on the daybed with aches in their stomach because, you know, they all have knots in their stomach listen to that because that is your mm -hmm. gut feeling like i wish they would just listen to that and be like okay maybe i should just give other these other guys a little bit more being a little bit more open so i can like listen to them especially this lionel guy like i don't know if they'll pull like a indian dami and she'll bring him back and she'll bring i but to be honest i think i think like my prediction who's goes home next if after casa it will be like connor and mimi like i honestly think io and jessica will like see this in the end because they're very well matched to me. Well, Connor what the should fuck go are we talking like, about? Had every opportunity. You have five girls, six, here, I think. And he hasn't he hasn't made one move like he's either the most boring person on this planet. He they do not show him on the show like I literally time and time for yeah. he's there and then he'll just pop up and say one random thing with the yeah. group of boys and that's it. Like, honestly, get him off my TV. Like, Ronnie would have made out with three I of these know girls it. right now. Genuinely. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> Generally. Um, I know it, dude. Like, I, I keep thinking that, but it's like, honestly, like, would Harriet be acting a fool in Casa? Because, like, Grace, would she? Yeah. You think? Because Harriet would be, like, worried Ronnie's doing it. So Harriet know, would, like, it would try to. Good TV. Because Harriet's like that. For sure. Like, like, like. Revengey. Like Uma, where Uma's like, I'm not gonna do that because I feel really good about it. Like Harriet would be like, well, Ronnie's like been in his triangles. I'm gonna start yeah, my triangle. Yeah. You know? Like she would play the game. I wish Uma, I wish Mimi, I get it for Nicole, but I wish Uma and Mimi would at least like talk to these boys and be like a little bit open, just a tiny bit flirty. Like, this isn't your boyfriend at the end of the day. Like, just kind of have, like, a little flirty convo. Like, Mimi shuts it down yeah. so fast. So does Uma. I'm like, why Why not? Why not just, like, talk to these boys? You don't have to, like, bring them back, but just talk to them. Like, 
I think up until now, like Matilda is doing it really good. Like in tomorrow night's episode, there's a little sneak peek that she yeah. looks like she goes for Hugo. Um, Hugo. But um, I like how she's playing it. She's like, whatever, like, let's have fun. She's not stressing it too bad. She's not like super worried about Sean. But she's also like, oh, I miss Sean. She's like thinking about Sean. Like, I think that's a healthy for sure. place to be. Yeah, she's she's a. Uh, I mean, but she's always seemed like she's the healthiest mental person there. Yeah, she also like kind of just got in there. So she's not really like. Yeah. She hasn't been out of touch with the real world in like true, as many weeks true. as the other girls. <laughs> in the insane asylum long enough. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she'll actually take somebody home. I guess like this Jake guy has disappeared when he was like a contender for a little bit. But Hugo like his voice is very masculine. He, like he does have an energy that I get how these girls are like being drawn to him. Minus like this weird mm. chin um facial hair i can't stand it mm-hmm. but his aura is like alluring to me like not i personally wouldn't is, go for it but i'm understanding how people are how they're getting attracted to him right like you can see it for them for yeah them. was he the one that was telling matilda that he doesn't think she's sexually attracted yeah. to sean yeah like that was cringe to me and she's like i I mean i am i don't i didn't find that cringe because i felt like we're all thinking it yeah i guess so i think what he meant to say is like you're always calling him cute like you don't usually that's usually what you say to a guy i feel like i straight up would have said this comment to somebody not thinking it was rude or anything like because i honestly feel like he like it's kind of true like but i think it's because it's like we're like how because we think Sean is punching above his weight. We're like, how is Matilda mm-hmm. attracted to Sean? Which is kind of fucked up. But like, that's where I think we're like, these two things aren't connecting. Yeah, like, I don't know. Just to me, like, if Hugo was sat next to Sean, like, I would think Sean's hotter. No, when it came to when they talked, like, Hugo is. Hugo has more game. No, but just okay, but looks. But let's go off of like, no, I still would say Hugo. I would shave his really? beard, his chin in the middle of the night, and then I would say yeah. Hugo and Sean. Yeah, over Sean. Like, Sean has this, like, puniness to him. <laughs> I can't, like. That's how I feel about Hugo. Like, I just feel like, I th- I fear Sean may be short. Yes. And that plays a role to these girls. Like, they all want a 6'5". Finance. 6'5". 6'5". Blue eyes. <laughs> Who doesn't? Like, th- all their time. Ty- no, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And all guys want a girl with a pretty face and big boobs. So it's like. Yeah. And skinny. So it's fine. We can say that. You- we all want the same thing. <laughs> yeah. But. But. um, What was I going to say about Hugo Matilda and Sean. And Sean. But I do think Matilda isn't really worried about Sean, but I thought it was cute. Sean's like, I mean, I'm still like thinking about Matilda. Like I, I, cause I thought Sean might do the like, Oh, who knows what Matilda's up to. I'm just going to go for it. But then in the preview, he kissed. Yeah, that was crazy. That was shocking to me. Or it looks like it's because they have now given them enough time to be in there. If last season, last season, we were already back home. Right. They were there for like a two days, a day. Like now we're like, okay, now they're getting a little bit more comfy. This is the second night, third night for the girls. Like that's a, that's a decent amount of time. And I feel like they won't, I feel like tomorrow we won't even get there. And then, uh, Thursday we might just be returning. You know what I mean? So that's a Mm -hmm. decent week in Casa. Um, so that's where I think like, a lot of these things are getting like maybe more connections are i'm trying not to confuse the preview with today because now i'm like yeah because i'm like jess um how do i feel about jess getting mad about matilda you know what i mean but i'm like okay we'll probably talk about that tomorrow but yeah because that was yeah i'm getting confused um but jess and hugo had a thing but i gotta say i feel like hugo is more into matilda or wants Matilda, I think but so too. He's- can only get Jess. Again, Jess, second best. Exactly. 
but think she's <laughs> yeah. the best. Harriet posted on her Instagram a photo of her and said, I'm the real prize. <laughs> Harriet. Like, imagine what she would amazing. be doing there, dude. No, amazing things. But, I mean, we'll talk about Jess and Matilda tomorrow, so I'll save it for Yeah, that. but... um. How do how was how did you feel with Jess and Hugo like sitting there like her flirting wasn't as bad. She she let go of the no her she let go of the smirk. As... Yeah, a little bit. Like, she loosened she it up. The phantom <laughs> smirk, but she yeah. I I think she's like super into Hugo. Like I think she's genuinely like super happy. She said it to the girl. She wants to kiss him at night. That's good. That's exciting. Like she hasn't really had that since Ronnie. So. I'm glad for that, but I don't see him like super. You can tell she's not his priority. Yes, yes. Um, and then we had Grace. I really like. I can't stand these like sayings that these guys make, like when they're referring to their kissing during the game, and then like they try to use that as a way to like kiss later. I hate it. No, it's the same line. Like I don't know why, but kissing lines like actually make me sweat. Like they give me such bad anxiety. Like, like it should just like lo- it should kiss. just like happen. Exactly. Like I just kind of like lean in and kiss. Like I don't know. It just feels like so yeah. natural and it's like so cringy. Do you think Grace is super into Blade? Because to me, it seems like she is into him. But do you think it's a rebound? I feel like probably a rebound and i feel like maybe something gave her the ick like right after that kiss like i just have a feeling like she did not want to have that kiss like i don't think she fucked with that saying and i think she was like oh really and before she even like first of all gave permission he like went in like i was like oh like you know she did what we were talking about she didn't want to be mean or she didn't want to be rude and she just fucking bit the bullet Mm -hmm. and i don't think honestly well we see her making out with that other guy after with clearly she has a fucking type (laughs) like it's obvious um so and i was actually surprised he she hasn't talked to him yet honestly but i did see them by the pool and like we didn't get that combo we got it for like a second but they were talking in the background for a really long time um him and mosiah i think his name is yeah but that's kind of Oh, yeah, we did see them talking for a second. But that's kind of her game, kind of. Like, she plays it cool. She talks to the guy she really likes to the least. You know what I mean? She did it with Joey. She came into the villa. She talked to all the other guys first. Then she yeah. talked to Joey. Like, she said it to Blade, I think, in tonight or yesterday's episode, where she was like, if you're going to play it cool, I'm going to play it cooler. Like, I think sh- that's her vibe. Like, let them come to me mm-hmm. kind of a thing. Um. Well, I don't know. Blade really gives me the ick. Like, oh my god, it's the hairline, dude. It's so bad, and like, I just don't. The I game. Don't th- I, I don't know how to say this in a nice way, so I'll just yeah, yeah, myself, yeah. No, but- no, I understand completely. Um, the game was so savage. Like, the main villa completely demolished them. Um, clearly, they have so much more they're working with. They got the party, and then. Um, What was I going to say? Did Lucy and Will kiss tonight? Yeah, like in bed. That's yeah, in crazy. Bed. She's so cute. But she's so cute. She's like, Tinkerbell. yeah, like she literally is. She's so cute. But the thing is, I can't understand a word she says, number one. And number two, it was she kept going for Kieran, like in the game. Then when they asked who she wants to sleep in bed with. She said Karen's name first. Like, I think she's really They'd make a very Karen. cute couple, to be honest. Very cute. But I, I like, I just, like, think Will yeah. is so cute. But he's just, he's a dodgy guy. Right. I can't, I can't, I can't pinpoint him. I'm very surprised at Joey's behavior, though. Yeah, he seems to be behaving well. But then he's, like, most attracted to the, to the girl he already Yeah, Yeah. Like, is Question he? Mark? I couldn't figure that out either. Something very cringe is when, um, like, the girls in the game, Jesse and Grace, both kissed, uh, I think it was Blade. And Joey's like, my girls kissed another guy. Did he like, say girls Joey? or did he say girl? Like, Was it your subtitles? Oh, girls. my gosh. That's <laughs> wild. And I'm, like, still being, like, is this a crazy joke? Still, like, are Grace and him going to get back together? Like, this is insane. No, there's Kimmy. 
I don't if they get back together like we have to turn yeah. this like turn this show off and we'll just like transition to US yeah I like, we can't <laughs> we'll retire yeah like we'll just we'll just be like okay we'll pick up from US yeah right oh now. my god that'd be great <laughs> like we'd have to call it. yeah so I don't know I guess we'll see tomorrow a lot of kissing in bed um from the main villa but other than that should be a good episode tomorrow because now the boys are moving mad yeah and Jess gets mad at Matilda so I'm very interested to see how that plays out and if she has we don't have context so I want to know if like Jess has ground to be mad just like I just I need to thinks know. she has ground to be mad at everything totally but like did Matilda no kiss I think she just was that? like you I, you're my type I think she's just having a flirty talk right yeah like she is Matilda not allowed to be attracted to the same man you are, Jess? No, we're That's on the crazy. wrong show. I feel bad for Jesse. Like, what's she doing? Like, I, is she just gonna like? I think she genuinely likes Joey. And does Joey like her? Like, I think so. Like, but it's like it's weird because I feel like it's such a strong statement to stay single in your couple that I think it's like stronger mm-hmm. than what they are. You know what I mean? But yeah. there's no other option for her. So that's why she's remaining single. It's honestly, there was no other option. It's not because she's like, he wants to stay with Joey, like full heartedly. Yeah. It's like the thing is like if Joey stays single, it's it's a big thing because A, Joey like flip flops very easily and B, like he has his yeah. pick of the litter. If Jesse stays single, it doesn't mean as much because she's like really scraping <laughs> the bottom of the barrel and... Like, so to me, I'm like, I don't know. I think it says more if Joey say single when like he has all these cuties. One of them, like they have a history. This damn and history. Genuinely, I'm I'm sure any one of the bombshells he would be interested in, they'd give him the For sure. Day. That's why I'm surprised he's not. Like, I thought he, would gonna, he was going to go for Like, Lucy. when that conversation with him and Will, with Lucy and Emma, like, what was he trying? Was he trying to get? Like, she was like, yeah, I'm interested in one over there and one here. And she was like, Kieran and Will. It's like, was <laughs> did Joey want her to say him? Like, I was like, I'm, I'm trying to figure Joey out in this Casa game. I think that he wanted Emma to say his name because before I that, don't feel like he wants Emma. He was like. Like, I think he can admit that he's she's hot. Like, like, of course, she's gorge. But I don't think he, like, yeah. likes her enough to, like, like o- reopen that. Like, if you're going to open another thing of hi- – another can of history, <laughs> you got to mm-hmm. make this, like, the one that sticks. You got to be sure. Yeah. 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 And jo- – But Joey's not really, like, trying it with any of the girls. Like, he's Yeah, quiet. it's weird. Did not see that coming. I mean, I guess we'll see as Casa plays out a little bit more, but... But there was no preview um, of him. That's telling to me. All the kissing, none of him. No. No. Yeah. Very right? telling. I guess we'll see tomorrow. <clears throat> Thank you guys all for listening to Fire Pit Chat, your daily dose of all things Love Island. I'm your host, Demi, and this is Jasmine. We appreciate you listening. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. We're also available as a podcast wherever you get your podcast. So be sure to leave us a five-star review and share with your fellow island lover. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.